Okay, so this is the home of GiveGab. When you get to this page, what you're going to want to do is just click the top right, get started, and make sure that you click the blue button as a supporter, not an administrator. When you do it, you can either sign up with Facebook, which takes no time at all, or just enter a couple of details. Either way, it's nice and quick. But in this case, uh, because I've set up a dummy account to use, I'm going to log in. So when I go to log in, I'm just going to use my email. So it's ryanstafford7 at gmail.com. Feel free to use it to log into it, but please don't send me spam emails. And then the password is J-O-E-B-L-O-G-G-S. So that's Joe Blogs, all in lowercase, which is just the name of this guy's account. And there we go. Welcome, Joe. So when you get to your homepage, initially, you are not going to have the message from Ed's fundraiser here because you won't have signed up for it. So to sign up for it, all you're going to do is type in message for meds up here. Hit enter and you'll see the campaign brought up. All you're going to do is click on it and just hit join the campaign and it's really nice and simple. In this case, quick, in this case excuse me, uh, Joe Bloggs has already signed up to it. So I'm just going to click on dashboard, which is basically the home button and it's going to take me back to it here. So if I click on message for meds, it's going to give me a bit more information about the uh, campaign. This bit here is customizable and I'll show you that in one second, but for now, it's going to scroll to the bottom and you can see it contains information about the campaign and also about community health. So if we go back for one second to customize it, you're just going to click toolkit here. That will load up a few different um, aspects that you can change. The main one is tell your story. So this is where you can set your goal. It starts you off at 500, but obviously set it to whatever you'd like. And then you can put your personal message in and you can change the image if you'd like as well. The other really good aspect about um, GiveGab is reaching out. So in the past, I think you had to email people individually, which isn't very practical. Now it can access the contacts for you. So I use Gmail. So if I click it there and give it permission, what it should do is bring up all my contacts. And then I can either send it to a few of them or to all of them. So there we go, all 110 of them. Um, and that will make it so much quicker. So you can just go through, select X amount of people and ping an email out nice and quickly. So they're the main two aspects of it. You can also share socially, which would be brilliant. We always love it when you reach out on social media as well. Um, and then lastly, just to customize it a little bit more, if you go to the top right hand corner where it says you, you can go to your profile. If you're going to be sending people towards this page, it's a really good idea to kind of personalize it a little bit more. Maybe talk about why you're volunteering and, and any reflections you've got about participating in it. And then lastly, do make sure you have a picture so you can just click upload photo there. When you first log in, I believe you might have to go to settings here and then you can select an image and do it there. That really is all there is to it. It is very nice and simple. Um, this little blue icon at the bottom right that temporarily disappeared, there it is, is online help. Um, and a couple of people have already used it and said that they are very quick in responding. So if you'd rather use that than me, feel free. If not, send me an email or just come and see me. And I hope this has helped. Thank you.